Hey guys, welcome back to World of Warships. Today we're taking a look at the Palo Emilio because you wanted me to play this. This is Ship Request. So whatever the most upvoted comment is below this video, that's what I'm going to play next. Last time we had a Ship Request, Palo Emilio was the most upvoted comment. So here we are. This is a ship I have never played before. It's always been an interesting one, but something that I didn't really want to spend my own research points on. It is a YOLO destroyer. So YOLO Emilio might be the uh, nickname of this ship. You have six kilometer torps that deal nearly 24,000 damage. And that's a lot. And <laughs> this, this thing can definitely one shot people, but you got to get close. And we only have a 7.1 kilometer detect. Our speed is very good. And of course, we're going to try and use our smoke screen to get up close to people. This is an exhaust smoke that covers our ship even at full speed and try and land some torpedoes at point blank range. I am very unsure as to how this is going to go. Uh, my build here does include a little bit of main guns uh, just because I want to be able to use them a little bit. The reload is not great here, but we do have sap, which is pretty nice. And... Uh, We'll see. I'll play some games, see if I can't get some good clips for you guys, but uh, just know this is certainly not my specialty, uh, but we will try and have some fun regardless. No! Ah, oh, I ate it. Feels bad, man. Problema risolto, signore. Damn, that's some nice mine fire on uh, on their part. All right, did not go well. Oh wow! Well, we found a guy. And we ate two in return. Not great. <laughs> okay, one successful YOLO. One successful YOLO, apparently. Lost all our health. But I got one guy. <laughs> Shouldn't have eaten that torp, but that's okay. So it seems like as soon as you win a flank, this thing is just useless. <laughs> uh, I suppose if I had saved some more health, that would uh, would have allowed me to play here a little more. Generatore di fumo avviato. Rilasciata cortina fumogena. I don't think I get him. <laughs> maybe not the best YOLO in the world. But maybe we get someone Borgone. Oh, he did turn up. Alright. Bow on, though. Unlikely. Oh, hey, we got one. And nothing on the other set. Feels bad. All right, looks like 38K is where we land with the flood. I certainly am having a tough time with this ship. <laughs> so I've done a little work here to swap the build up. I'm just all in on these torps now. Not worried about the guns. I got Swift and Silence as well, so we're nice and quick. We're just gonna try and YOLO. <laughs> 
We'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can make it work here. Mizashi, an interesting target, certainly. Yeah, I was a little worried about that. We're up against some pretty stealthy DDs. Maybe we can catch one. Okay, there's a zoom shot. Ah, he was up here. That's unfortunate. Oh well, that's how it goes sometimes. I'm actually finding it goes like that a lot with this ship. Kind of just get outspotted by DDs and... There's not a whole lot I can do, feels like. Doubtful those reach, but we'll see. Maybe? No, they died. Too bad. Oh, and that's a radar even. Yikes. Game's a little hard. Is that a radar Eden in here then? Wow. Must have been. Yeah, we're just outspotted again. Okay. Keep it rolling. We'll keep it rolling. All right, here we go. Let's go again. Well, I kind of want my engine, I think. Now he's going to be forced to turn broadside here. Juke a little bit there. That's not great. Poor use of smoke there, to be honest with you. But we got him! <laughs> I should have remembered my uh, smoke fire. I thought I'd go dark there in between. I guess our smoke fire is not very good. It's like three or four kilometers, I guess? All right, got another one. Onwards. Ah, uh, okay. Hello, Mr. Kitakazi. Those might hurt. <laughs> All right, got him. <laughs> and can we go say hi to the Kearsarge yet? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. All right, 30 seconds. Can we catch up to him? Now, the Azuma is going to be a bit of an issue, isn't he? Does he get caught on there? He might. Uh, these torp angles, bro. However, do we drift that? We drift it reasonably well. Okay, we get the Kearsarge. Unlikely we catch up to the Azuma here, but hey. 
this game in a little bit here. Probably die. Probably die. He's got a Hydro. Probably die. Oh, I didn't quite drift enough. <laughs> Wait, is he going to overturn into that? He might. <laughs> he did. That's really funny. All right, 58. Oh, no. Their guys got me. 60k. That's a pretty good one for me now. We're getting there. As you can see, teams are... Uh, well, yeah. This ship is not easy when people don't uh, <laughs> don't come out of spawn. But uh, that was a good one. That's the best one so far. Come on, team. You got him. Team? Team? You got him, right? Right? Yeah, there you go. Generatore di fumo avviato. Sovralimentazione attivata. Okay. Ran into two tier nine DDs. That's not the best uh, idea for us. Got some scouting done. The sap hits relatively hard. How aggressive, then, is this Mogador gonna be for us? That's kind of the question. Do you have a Palmer in here, to be honest with you? Could take some fights. Hello. 3k, it's not bad. There we go. Hit that Kitakazi for a ton. I mean, even though it's not a gunship, the sap certainly can hurt these guys. Mm, only one hit though, it's unfortunate there. Kinda lured these guys into our Palmer, I guess, is kinda how this one went. 20 kilometers, all right. Oh, we do get him, let's go. Ah, that was in a battleship. That makes more sense. All right. I mean, that's a reasonable start. I was kind of worried this ship was just going to be like a useless yellow ship that uh, has really not much battle impact. But if you can bait the enemies into you in the right way, that's that's all right. So I guess we just hope this guy doesn't have a hydro. Is that it? That feels a little uh, sketchy. But, you know, maybe he doesn't. Okay, he does. Die, please. A little quicker, thank you. Minnesota time. Yeah, I think we just try and peel away. See if we can't uh, get away from this guy. That's not great for us, just to be totally honest. 
Battleship dispersion, please. Uh, okay, living, got two hits. No way, the secondary. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay. I mean, okay. Yeah. Um, okay. At least I'm dev striking things now. Uh, this has been a little rough, guys. A lot of blowouts, a lot of people just chilling in their spawn. This is not a very good ship. So after swapping the build around a little bit and really trying a few different ways of playing, trying to stay back early and then just accomplishing nothing, uh, pushing in overly aggressively and dying as you saw in a lot of those earlier clips, uh, we got a few dev strikes, a few yellows that actually were successful in this thing. Certainly not a ship that uh, is very good in my opinion, can be fun to make those yellow plays, but given how passive the meta is these days, can't recommend this ship at all to people uh, if you want a good ship to play. <laughs> if you're just trying to have fun, by all means, go go nuts with this thing. Uh, it can be a good time, but a very difficult ship to play, a very expensive ship to get, and overall just a little too compromised, I think. But if you get those right scenarios where you can YOLO a battleship, then, then it can be good. But just keep in mind that especially these days, uh, a lot of battleships are just starting to just kite away just initially in these games because the submarines, right? That's the only counter they really have to submarines and carriers to a certain extent as well is to just run away. So if that's kind of the predisposition of a battleship player, it's it's tough out there for, uh, for a YOLO Emilio, but we got a few, we got a few. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, comment down below whatever you'd like to see next time. And uh, that's what I'm gonna be playing. Uh, this was the Yellow Emilio. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.